what's going on guys so today i got you guys a 24 crv and the customer wants five percent all around right now i got the driver and passenger side back door i'm gonna jump on it right now but you guys can see it's looking good all around nothing too difficult on this window same thing as the back one it has no tint not yet so so far so good i'll probably record me tinting the back side nothing too difficult i already got my patterns back here So what we'll be doing is 5% um, here's the driver's side so this is what we're doing so far so good nothing too difficult so yeah guys it's a CRV nothing major I'll let you guys know if I have any problems I'm doing two stage front and back shouldn't be a big deal I'll let you guys know so far it's an easy install the window's pretty wide it's big enough nothing to worry about so I'll show you guys the next process alright guys so I'll be doing a different point of view on doing the back but I already have my light in there should be good so I'm going to go ahead and spray it and then uh Right now I'm using soap, but most of the time I do use um, dryer sheets. So here they are. This is the ones I use most of the time. You guys can use them if you guys like. But I'm using soap. Um, it feels like it stays there a little longer uh, for me, but everyone's different. So let's get started. And also, the other thing that I remove, it's the bag um, wiper blade. I removed that one. Makes it a lot easier for us. All right, that's out of the way. So now I'll let this dry. And then uh, while well, this is drying, I'll walk around the car, check uh, if there's any uh, small imperfections that I gotta fix, or in general, start cleaning doors, getting it ready so that way there's actually something to do while this is drying. All right guys, so it looks like it's dry to the touch. We're pretty much good to go. I'll get the heat gun going and lay down my tent and we'll start uh, shrinking and then we'll do the final cut So right now I'm just pretty much cutting around the wiper where the wiper blade goes. I just pretty much did the, the cut. So right now I'm doing 
my rock cut. That way the tank has no tension on the side. Let me adjust it. All right, it looks like I got coverage all around. So now I'm just gonna do a rough cut down here. Doesn't have to be uh, perfect because it's not the final cut. But you know, just don't cut too much. Make sure you have enough. Because the last thing you want is to be Not this blade. Yeah, let's see. The last thing you want is to be a little short on one end. All right, that's my rough cut for now. We're gonna go ahead and start shooting. Alright guys, so we're done with the back. Went ahead and installed the wiper. Pretty easy. It's a 10 mil. And then uh, this cover snaps right back on. And that's it. Just make sure that the wiper is nice and straight. It's not facing this way or it's too in an angle. But that's it guys. Now let's take it outside and see how it looks.